Today, we are going to present one of the major approaches to editing, continuity editing. Our movie clip is from a American romantic movie, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which was released in 2004. It won the Best Original Screenplay on 77th Academy Awards. For those who haven't watched this movie, this movie is mainly about a couple breaks up after a two-year relationship. They get tired of each other and keep fighting. Then they erase all their memories of each other. This movie is narrated in flashback form. And this sequence is best example of continuity editing. Hi. I'm sorry? I just said hi. Hi, hello. Hi. Okay, if I sit closer? How far are you going? Uh, Rockville Center. Get out. Me too. Really? What are the odds? Do I know you? Do you ever shop at Barnes & Noble? Sure. That's it! Yeah. I've seen you, man. Book slave there for like five years now. Oh. Jesus. I would thought I would remember five you. Years? It might be the hair. What might? It changes a lot, the color. So that's oh. why you might not recognize me. It's called Blue Ruin. Right. Color. Snappy name, huh? I like it. Anyway, this company makes a whole line of colors with equally snappy names. Red, Red Menace, Yellow Fever, Green Revolution. That'd be a job, coming up with those names. You think there could possibly be a job like that? I mean, how many hair colors could there be? 50, maybe. Someone's got that job. Agent Orange. I came up with that one. <laughs> I apply my personality in a paste. Oh, I doubt that very much. Well, you don't know me, so you don't know, do you? Sorry. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah. I got it. My name's Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. No jokes about my name. Oh, no. You wouldn't do that if you're trying to be nice. I don't know any jokes about your name. Huckleberry Hound. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Huckleberry Hound? Are you nuts? It's been suggested. <laughs> oh, my darling, no, my darling, no, my darling, Clementine. You were lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. No? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's a pretty name, though. It really is nice. It uh, means merciful, right? Uh, clemency. Although it hardly fits, I'm a vindictive little bitch, truth be told. Continuity editing is how film put together and grounds audience in time and space. Especially, it's a system of editing in order to maintain continuity and make the narrative action clear in manner of the following technique. Match cut and graphic match cut. 180 degree shot. Point of view editing. Island match and match on action cut. Generally is seamless and supposed to be invisible. This sequence includes 180 degree rule which is commonly used in continuity editing. Eyeline match reverse shot and match on action cut. Let me introduce previously on this sequence first. This sequence is set up at the beginning of the movie. Joel and Clementine met on a tree, which is from Montauk to Hi. Rockville Center. At that time, they have a desire for a brand new uh, relationship. Clementine started the conversation with Joel. Most of the shots uh, close-ups and medium close-ups which shows their faces and the middle of the chest from the head filling the frame. At the beginning of this sequence, 
there is an obvious eyeline match. Clementine glances at Joel. The next shot is Joel looks up to her. It creates the illusion between two characters that they are looking at each other during their medium shots. This is how eyeline match works. A character looks at a certain place without letting the audience know what they are looking at in the same shot. Then the next shot shows the audience what he is looking at. That creates eyeline match. Following Kalamantai's movements, two protagonists show up in the same frame. After that, there are lots of 180 degree rules widely used. What is a 100 degree system? Or we can say rule. It is a panning shot that uses camera showing that two characters are talking, enables the audience to know where the characters are in the 2D space of the frame. It has been expanded in the textbook that 180 degree system uses a, a imaginary line drawn between the interacting characters being photographed. This helps to render a visible relationship between two characters without confusing the viewers. That's it. Yeah. I've seen you. Let's see this shot. It shows Kalamantine is digging through her bag. Seems like she is looking for something. The next shot is that she takes out the natural inhaler from her bag and begins to snuff at it. It is also a rule of continuity editing called match on action. It was defined in the Looking at Movies, an introduction to film as cutting during a physical action helps hide the instantaneous and the potentially jarring shift from one camera viewpoint to another. The last point of the continuity editing in this sequence is the reverse shot. We can clearly see the shot switching with over the shoulder shots of Joel and Clementine representing that they are talking and in relation to each other. Continuity editing that's to the sequence to the relationship between those two characters. It's a punchline and a necessary way to give detail during communicating going. Because of the base on the forward storyline, we know they are two lovers, but somehow they have to erase their memories no matter they love each other how much. But the love is too deep even when they remove their memories about each other, still the subconscious appears something about those two. So they meet on the train and the male character keeps looking at the female character and finally caught her attention. Then the long sequence about their talking with each other shows up. So the continuity editing is a good filming technique to give a view about showing the smooth transition how the story goes, such as how the character communicating with another or the time smooth pass away within give a detailed timeline. In the sequence, the editor keep using the continuity editing technique to keep appear those two protagonists and frequently bounce the camera angle from one to another and to use continuity editing often to give a feel about the relationship between those two is somehow familiar and unfamiliar. There was a sense of mystery and uncertainty between the couple. Continuity editing is still playing an important role to maintain its majority in most film and television since it's a good way to use editing technique to follow and render the film. Different plot or storyline in the film with different editing technique. Editing can bring different view experience to the film and express different emotion to the audience, which can further express the most authentic thought and the director want to express to the audience through the film.